Good morning. It's early. I've already done this once. I didn't like the movie that I just put out, so I deleted it, and we're starting over. Having my coffee. Passed out the milk bones. So everybody should be quiet now. The first attempt wasn't so fortunate. Uh, I start doing this. Tilly has a sense out there. She knows when I'm up. I don't know how she knows. She looks for the windows, the lights. I got shades, but she sees that I'm up. And she just, you know, commenced to line up at the back door. With Millie in the backdrop. You know, they're accomplices, but Millie's not a participant. Tilly is the spokeswoman. She has to sit there and bark and hoot until the milk bones come out. Then they go do whatever they do. They usually go run back in the woods or the pasture. They don't go anywhere else. And that's probably, hopefully, what they're doing right now. Staying out of trouble. The little one is on her stoop, eating her milk bone. I can hear her crunching. Sometimes she don't eat them. And you'll have three or four days worth laying around. And then one day she gets hungry and goes around and eats them all. Ah, and that little booger last night and then three or four days ago she's done this twice now i go to sit in my recliner and i go to get my pillows arranged and all that and i look down and there's a piece of hot dog shoved up in the corner she takes her treats and she shoves them in my recliner like i'm not gonna find them i do find them and then then she sees me doing it finding them and she's looking at me with a big worry on her face like I'm gonna eat that nasty thing covered in lint and everything else everything else that lives in the cracks of your recliner was on it so I had to take that thing to the sink rinse it off put it on her little ledge of her stoop her stoop is what the one that sits in the window with the bed in it rinse it off put it back there she's looking at me She's waiting for me to turn around, then she's going to go hide it again. So something was wrong with that particular piece of hot dog. She didn't want to eat it. But I don't like her hiding. I don't mind if she's hiding the milk bones. I don't want her hiding hot dogs and things are going to stink and rot. Who knows what they do. They've probably got so much preservatives in them. They're never going to change. Like Kind of like a McDonald's french fry. <laughs> we get drinking this coffee, man. All right, here's something that happened to me last week. So if you're watching, whoever you are, I highly doubt you're watching. But if you are, I may set a trap for you today. You know who you are? You stole my grocery cart at Aldi's. That's right. I got to watch. See, I usually drink two cups of coffee in the morning, these big cups. But when I have to go... To all these, you know, it's a, it's an hour drive. I don't try to drink too much, but it doesn't never matter. By the, I usually stop at Walmart first, and I gotta hit the bathroom, okay? Because I gotta pee. And I'll park, get my cart, and I'll, there's a spot I park it. Nobody bothers it. Nobody bothers it. You know why? Because it's free. So last week, I go to all these. They don't make it simple to get to the bathroom. Uh, well, it's simple to get there, but not to get out. I don't know. It's a pain in the butt. So anyway, I, I get my cart. I put my quarter in. I get my cart. I head to the bathroom. I park the cart. Well, there's some other carts there. I don't know what the purpose of those are. They already have quarters in them. And I, it could be even when people get two carts of stuff and they have an extra one, they shove them over there. I don't know what it, what they're there for. Or for the cheapskates. They go over there and they get one that's already got a quarter in it. So I parked mine by there. But I made it look like it wasn't part of that group, you know. Here, cheapskates, come get my free cart. You know, didn't park it in that section. I go in there, I go to the bathroom, come out, my cart's gone. Nobody seen nothing. I'm about ready to launch an investigation because now I got to go in my truck and hope there's another quarter in there. And there was. 
I come back, get my cart. And there was only about four or five people in the store. It was right after it opened. And I'm, man, I'm dying to go to, go to the manager and say, hey, can I look at your security camera? Because I want to know what type of person does this. Now, if you're thinking, oh, it's just a quarter. Hey, man, when I leave all these, I put the cart, I take it out. I put it out front where all the carts that you got to pay for are, and I leave it in front, and I leave my quarter in it. But I ain't doing that no more after last week. The hell with those people. They could use their own quarter. I'm tired of getting quarters and sticking in my truck for somebody who takes my cart like that. <sighs> Is anything sacred anymore? Stole my cart. I'm gonna set some kind of trap today. I gotta, I gotta come up with something. I don't know. Got any ideas? Maybe that same lady, man, whoever took it, will be in there again today. I'm gonna look at these people today. I might sit in the parking lot a little bit and watch, see how many people actually pay for a cart. Cause you see a lot of them, they walk this straight in. I see one guy, <laughs> he couldn't have had more crap in his arms. Cause I guess, you know, he, you get the quarter back, okay? Why not just pay for it? I got to get off this subject because that theft, I, I, I didn't report it to the police. Maybe I should have. But I didn't want to get wrapped in, in a, up in a big court battle, you know? A lot of crimes go unreported because people just don't want to get wrapped up in, in weeks of trials, lawyer fees, over at all these cards. I'm not going to do it. I just can't do it. If it happens again, I'm going to have no choice because somebody has to, somebody has to stand up for it. I don't want to be that guy. So don't take my cart. If carts are parked by the bathroom, it's a good chance. What do I got to do? Put product in it first? You know, the way I have to go into the bathroom, there's no, uh, there's no stuff. I would have to go into the store, put stuff in the cart, and then come back through this little narrow, they close everything off. Like you're going to try to run with your cart, and there's a little narrow place you got to go through to get to the bathroom. So if you don't go to the bathroom when you first walk in, you got to go through that little spot. But if that's what I got to do to show us, you know, what are they going to do? Take my cart full of the stuff? Then, hey, then they'll go to jail, right? I don't know. I just woke up. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I'm going to do something smart out of key today. I got to. I got to. Maybe, hey, maybe I could put paint on the handle. Of the cart. I don't know. Come up with Maybe I'll tie a piece of fishing line. There we go. I will tie some fishing line to the cart. Reel it in there with me. Tie the fishing line to my little pinky. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Oh, we don't want to do that. Uh-uh. If I tie that to my pinky... If somebody steals my cart while I'm peeing, there's going to be a mess in there. Huh. I might have to stay in there. I might have to stand by one of them hair dryers, you know, the hand dryers, and dry my pants off. I could tie it to my belt loop. No, I can't tie it to my belt loop. That's going to do the same thing. Tie it to my ear. No, that cut my ear off. Can't do that. Oh, I know. I'll steal a roll of toilet paper off the wall. I'll tie the string through it. And when I see that toilet paper move, then I'll know somebody's hijacking my cart. Well, I got a long drive, so I will think of something. And I will take some fishing line. Do, do I even own fishing line? I have a tackle box, but I haven't fished in 10 years. So it would probably break. <clears throat> All these cart thief, man, I tell you what. 
Is there anything somebody won't steal today? Anyway, hasn't been a whole lot going on yesterday. I went out and I weed eated for five hours. I got more done yesterday than I normally do in two days, three days. I went crazy until I ran. The only thing that stopped me is I ran out of weed eater string, which I have, but I can't find it. And I did find some, and for some odd reason, I, I think it was a spool that I had, and I had big long pieces of weed eater string I found and rolled them on there because they were broken into pieces. So I used it up as much as I could, and then I had to quit. But it was nice and cool yesterday. I wouldn't say cool, probably 83. Right now, it's 58 degrees out. That is unbelievable. The dogs are even in their barrels this morning. So that's, hey, I'll take that, man. This whole week's supposed to be cool. And that's cool with me. They arrived. Look at that. Twelve. Twelve in there. You know what? I might put all them dudes in my pocket when I go to Aldi's. That way I can take notes. Look there. Man, you can do all kinds of things with 12 Sharpies. I, I could draw all day on something. Graffiti. Yeah, I'll start doing graffiti. I don't know. But we're going to keep it short this morning, guys. So I got stuff to do. I want to get back in time so I can work on the new shop. Went in there last night, did a little painting. I took the bar tops you know this room I'm sitting in right now used to be the bar and I had some big thick uh, two by eights for bar tops and when I tore the bar out I put those upstairs and I took them into the shop used them for shelving you'll see that one big shelf along the back of the wall uh, got them painted up and they're gonna work out well so a lot of that stuff I'm reusing, uh, the 1x4s that I tore off the walls, those have been used, uh, most of them. So uh, I'm getting getting a lot of that done without having to buy lumber, and I've got that whole dog kennel full of lumber. Uh, most of that in there is cedar, so even if it gets wet, which most of it is not, because it has the roof over it, uh, it's it's able to be reused and I I had to get in there with a weed eater yesterday them weeds were four feet high in there wasn't walking through that no no telling what was living in there so we're going to keep it short and we will see you tomorrow same time well not the same time but usually I'm up anywhere from four to six in the morning and you know, I got to have a little time to wake up put my eyeballs in and then I'll I'll start making my my video. But usually about this time. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. Don't forget to give me that like, man. Those those likes are working. They're working. Later.